Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about fluoride toxicity and sources of fluoride toxicity. So number one is in drinking water. So in some regions, definitely in Canada, in North America, in the US as well, fluoride is actually dumped into the water and it's touted to be something that's good for our health of our teeth, but really the, this is very controversial and in terms of ingesting it in our drinking water can be very negative and have negative consequences for our health. Also, of course, toothpaste. So fluoride in toothpaste is probably the most common way that you would interact with fluoride. It can be found in mouthwash as well. So it would be labeled as sodium monofluorophosphate. So look out for that ingredient in your teeth products. Also, certainly if you go to the dentist, and you are offered whether for yourself or for your children to have fluoride treatments that would be that overt exposure to that fluoride and as much as and this is something from my own personal opinion that's what I'm sharing uh, is something that I've always had been a little bit of a conflict with the dentist that I didn't want my kids to have that because knowing about the toxicity levels of fluoride and those consequences for health so that's a, you know those are the types of decisions that you need to make for yourself and for your own family but you know doing your due diligence and getting this type of information is really important and i encourage you to do even more research than what you know we're able to share here there's a lot of great research on the toxicity effects of fluoride so do your due diligence and make those proper decisions you know in terms of your own health when we talk about food, so as much as you know, we try to eat our healthy raw fruits and vegetables, well, this could be another exposure to fluoride because certain pesticides and their residues, especially on grapes. So the pesticide used for grapes is called cryolite and this has fluoride in it. So grapes are notorious for this, grape juice and wine even, unfortunately, if it's not organic, can have some fluoride. Now, another thing that is interesting is that mechanically deboned meat so when we're talking about processed meats whether that's the chicken fingers and chicken you know nuggets and things it could be hot dogs because the bone is still in that meat product and bone is typically in an animal where the fluoride will concentrate this can be another exposure and ingesting some more of that fluoride which a lot of people simply don't realize also baby formulas so a soy based baby formula can have higher levels of fluoride as compared to other formulas now certainly if you are using tap water that has fluoride in it to mix the baby formula that is further increasing that fluoride toxicity so really can be risky for an infant so really you know paying attention to how and you know you're mixing those infant formulas it's really important to note that also processed breakfast cereals can be another source of fluoride toxicity other foods and drinks include you know that are mixed with fluoridated water I mean you wouldn't know so you're buying a fruit juice uh, or another type of drink or beverage you wouldn't necessarily know what type of water that they're using for that mixture so that's something else to, that we have to think about a lot of pharmaceutical drugs also contain fluoride as one of the ingredients so you have to look out for the SSRI antidepressants so the most common antidepressants used today have some fluoride in them as well as antibiotics that contain fluoroquinolone so Cipro is one that is notorious and it has you know special warnings in the package insert of that antibiotic which is used for bacterial and stubborn bacterial infections that it does have those side effects which are related to fluoride toxicity types of symptoms so that's why that you know is a big warning with that type of antibiotic some acid blockers also contain fluoride so the statin drugs so this is typically used to lower cholesterol levels does often have the fluoride as well so not something that most people and the doctor doesn't necessarily 
tell you that, well, I'm giving you your prescription for your high cholesterol and just to let you know there's some fluoride in here as well. I mean, these are things that we simply don't know. As well as some antifungal medications do have fluoride as part of because fluoride can be antifungal and by its nature and also anti-inflammatory drugs. So this is something that as pharmaceuticals, Again, I like to do things more naturally, but if you do need to take pharmaceuticals and you have a fluoride toxicity, it's something to be aware of. Now, certain foods and drinks also have fluoride. So here's the ones that instant tea can be very high in fluoride, as well as black and green tea. So not so much the herbal teas, and teas have been tested for fluoride toxicity and their fluoride levels. Black tea and green tea tend to be higher in fluoride levels. So this is something, again, to be aware of, especially if you have low thyroid, you've got iodine deficiency, you have you know, issues with your breast tissue, which can be related back to the fluoride toxicity. It's something definitely to you know, make those decisions in terms of how you're ingesting your beverages, what they are. The longer that it's steeped, the more fluoride will come into your tea and into what you're ingesting. So shorter steepage times, going with herbal teas may be a better way to go. Also, so Sodas, pops, and fruit juices, again, if they're made with fluoridated water, it can be a risk of exposure to more fluoride. And the cookware that you use is important as well. So if you're using Teflon types of pans, something that contains PFCs or perfluorinated compounds, fluorinated compounds, fluoride, something, again, that you just may not have known before. Some dietary supplements can also contain something called sodium fluoride, which which is in vitamin and mineral supplements. So something that we, again, another exposure to fluoride that you may not have been aware of. That's why I'm all about doing, when you're taking your vitamins, getting them in whole food, vitamin forms, or from the foods themselves, hopefully that are low in fluoride. Glass etching industry and for cleaning agents for chrome and you know other metals is often known as ammonium bifluoride. And this is another exposure to that fluoride and certain insecticides and pesticides in you know the farming industry do contain sodium fluoride so another reason maybe to go more in the direction of organic produce but making sure that it's grown in soil that doesn't naturally have fluoride which is occurring naturally in the soil itself and from the groundwater so I hope that you learned something new I would love to hear from you so please do put that in the comment section below be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of that great feedback that you share with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. Please click that subscribe button and also turn on those notifications so you always get notified of my live shows, but also my newest and my latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.